Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own eyeshadow palette made out of a CD case. And it's really, really creative, it's really, really cute, and it's definitely something that most of you can probably use. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, this project is really ideal for those of you guys who send a budget. Or maybe you're a college student, or high school student even. Or maybe your local Mac store doesn't have this in stock, or... You know, maybe there's not even a Mac store available in your area. So, you know, this is definitely an alternative to having a palette, if you wish or wanted, you know, to have one. And um, I know there's other, you know, probably videos and tutorials on online that has shown this, but I thought I'd make one putting my own kind of version to it. And, uh, you know, kind of suggest other alternatives, too, as far as the materials that you can use. So, anyway, to begin with, you're going to need basically a CD. But actually, you're just going to need the case. Now, you can buy these at, like, drugstores. And sometimes, like, this one's, like, 99 cents or, like, really inexpensive. Or um, sometimes you go to, like, Walgreens and... You know, their CDs are two for five dollars, or maybe, you know, just any, like, really inexpensive, because you're just going to need the case part, okay? And you're going to need magnets in sheets, all right? Now, you, you can get the peel-off kind, which is very, you know, highly recommended, because it's so easy. You just peel it off and then stick it onto anything. Now, um... I picked this one up from Michael's, and these are not the stick-on kind, but that's okay because I'm just going to use adhesive, so it's no big deal. But, you know, I was, I meant to um, get the peel-off kind, so, but this is going to work just as well. Are right, you going to need a ruler, and you're going to need scissors, and of course you're going to need a marker, you know, so that way you can draw lines and whatnot. And you're going to need glue if you got the kind I got, and, you know, if it doesn't peel off, I'm just going to use some adhesive to adhere that. And what else are we going to need? Of course, you're going to need your eyeshadows, and preferably in a palette. They already have magnets in them in the back. And if you depot, you know, make sure to watch my depotting tutorial, and you can do that as well. And to label the palette, there are so many ways you can you can do that, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some photo paper, and it can be glossy or matte, doesn't matter really, or you can also use some um, clear, um, kind of like one of those overhead projection sheets that you can print, that would be kind of cool as well, but it's kind of hard to find, and you have to buy them in packs, so you can't just buy one, so I thought photo paper would be something that everybody have these days and it's going to be a little bit more useful and at the same time creative. So, to begin with, what you're going to do is take your CD, of course, take the packaging out and what we're going to do is we're going to take the CD out. Now if you like the CD, keep it, you know, put it like in a um, CD sleeve or something or put it in your car you know, something like that. Or, if you don't like it, it'll make a great, great coaster. You know, just kind of like put something in the back, you know, and it's a great coaster. Very creative. And anyway, back to our CD case. So just take all the medias out, like all these paper things. And this part right here where the CD cradle is, we're going to take that out and it's really easy. You just twist it and it's going to pop out, just like that and it comes off, all right? And then there's more paper underneath that. There you go, so now we're left out with a clear case. Now when you close it, there's going to be this hole right here. Now you can fill, fill that out with like a cardboard or a piece of paper or something. But I kind of like it because it's kind of like a window, so it airs in, you know? So if I use my eyeshadow with a wet brush, you know, like if I use a mixing medium, then it's going to dry nicely because of this, okay, so 
So that way it's not tightly sealed and whatnot. So, pretty easy so far. So basically you just need the case, okay? Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to determine which one's the cover and which one is the base. So basically, this is the cover and this is the base. We need to measure the dimension of the base because we're going to cut our magnet to the size of the base, alright? So using your ruler, you just measure it just like so, alright? And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut the same exact size using the sheet of magnet. And there you go. So now you have the magnetic part and you have the paper part. Now if this is a peel back, all you need to do is peel it off and adhere it to the, um, the base of the CD case. And if it's not, then just use some adhesive. You can use glue, you can use you know cement adhesive, or you can use spray on adhesive, double sided tape, you know, so I'll leave that to you guys depending on what you want to do. Now the little remnant that's left out, keep it because you know what? You can make those circular magnets that you attach to the back of the pens. That's very hard to find. And usually you get them at Michael's, but all the time they're out of it. So you can just make them and I'll show you how to do that in a different video. So keep watching my stuff, guys. And anyway, so back to our magnet. So basically, again, if this is a stick-on, you're just going to simply insert it. Make sure it's on the base. Okay, so that's this is the lid, and this is the base. And we're just going to adhere this oops, the other way. Right into the base. Just like that. Okay, so now I adhered it to the base of the CD case and it's already dry and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill them up with our eyeshadow pans. So just take them off the packaging and they already have magnets in them if you buy the refill pans and we're just going to line them up and as you can see it sticks to the magnet so it's really really cool idea right? So just fill it in the whole thing And the next thing we're going to do is basically take a picture of this because that's where the photo paper is going to come in. Okay, so once you arrange all the colors and they're all nicely even spaced out, it should look like this. And look how nicely it's holding up. So it's pretty cool. And then when you put the lid on, you have yourself a really cute palette. Now all you need to do is basically label it the way you wanted it. And again, you know, you can do a clear like label on top of this or you know just kind of be as creative as you want to be um, and um, you know so that way there's uh, some form of like an identification for the color so you know oh okay well you know that's uh, arctic blue or that's brulee or that's vanilla so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a picture of this on the top and then I'm going to label it using Word or maybe PowerPoint or anything like that you know to put the labels in and then I'm going to print it into my glossy photo paper so I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be back and show you what it looks like okay so I've taken a picture of the palette and printed it on photo paper and I also labeled it with the names of the color just like so, and then cut it out to the size of the cover of the CD case. So the next step is really, really easy. So here's our palette, and I'm just going to insert this right into the front part, which is the cover. And you can secure this with the tape as well. All right. So now, just to turn it around, here you go. So all your pans are nicely arranged, and then you close it, and then there it is. You got the lid and the matching colors, so you know what's in it. Okay, well, hopefully this is something that's useful for you guys, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!